Hello everybody, this is Open World Addict here, and today I am coming to you with a mod showcase for one of my, for what has become one of my favorite mods, uh, for Stellaris, and this mod has got no attention at all, and it's a shame. It has been updated regularly, so probably by the time you're seeing this, there should be an update for the patch, the latest patch. If not, it probably won't take that long before it's updated. And so this today is going to be the Ecology mod. This is a complete add-on to the planetary management system that makes the uh, increases the importance to keep an eye on uh, waste management and um, pollution. And to keep things under control as you're building up your colonies and your empire. And, uh, this may not be for everyone, but if you, uh, like recycling, if you like, uh, the late game of Civ 6, where, uh, Gathering Storm, where you are working to reduce your, your innate civilization's impact on the planet's climate and ecology, then uh, you're gonna love this mod for Stellaris. So let me show you what it does. Let's go to my capital, which is Earth. I'm playing as the uh, Terran Republic of the United Nations. It's my own version of a futuristic uh, Earth. And if we come here, we see that this planet has moderate pollution. Now, when I actually started, it had high pollution. But because of its moderate pollution and minus fire stability, but you know, it's still at 81, so that's pretty good, and minus 5 uh, growth speed. Now, under that you can see it says it has between 400 and 600 wastes. Compare that to my new colonies, I have Olympia and New Jerusalem, and this has a clean world. Plus five stability and pop growth speed. One to two hundred waste. So this is a clean world. But as the population grows and as they build new jobs in different locations, this is a very example because this is more, kind of more balanced. Um, the pollution, the pollution will go up. So now, how does this pollution system work? Well, I have a um, article written here, which has all the information I need, and I'm going to share not only the link to the mod below, but also this article that tells you all the features. By the way, this mod is made by a person on the Steam One Workshop called Meta Digital. I don't know if he has a Twitter page or not. I will be contacting him after this video is done, sharing him my video, and if he does have a Twitter page, I will put 
the link for that below as well, so that you can follow him and stuff, because this is an amazing mod. Anyway, back to the mod. So, on the document it says, Now, it used to, in previous versions of this mod, it used to actually say directly in the jobs how much pollution each one does. It doesn't say that anymore, so you just have to read it off of this document. Jobs generate waste depending on their production. Not, not pollution. The pollution is the amount of waste there is. The jobs generate great waste. So, high waste jobs are these workers. Mineral. High waste jobs are minerals, energy. And food, as well as mine resource, mine strategic resources. So any mine strategic jobs that work at mine strategic resources, any miner you have, any uh, farmer you have, and any technician you have, that creates high waste. Moderate waste jobs are jobs that make alloys, consumer goods, research, manufactured strategic resources. So for example, this researcher here creates medium moderate waste. So does this metallurgist and this artisan. The bureaucrat and enforcer did not contribute to medium moderate waste. Jobs that produce trade and amenities are jobs that produce low waste. So these clerics produce low waste. And jobs that produce unity and the societal research. That doesn't make any sense. The unity, jobs produce unity. Also, have no waste. So this. The, this administrator produces amenities, the administrator produces low, low waste. And so basically that's how, how it works. Each type of job produces a different amount of waste. It would be nice if you could see uh, this, uh, This job, th th these jobs re produce this amount of waste. How much waste is producing by each type of job? So that if you wanted to, you could potentially calculate how much waste is being produced and how much, and how much that will be increased by the, by the new jobs that might be built, or the new buildings you're going to build, or whatever. So that would be nice, but right now. That is not working. So, 
what can happen is your your pollution if your waste climbs up so high that your pollution gets kind of out, out of control there are actually pollution events and disasters that can occur So, in urban pollution and makes it less pleasant to live in urbanized regions of the world. Environmental pollution starts appearing as pollution increases and makes the living conditions on the planet worse. Natural disasters. These appear more frequently with more pollution and climate change. Heavy polluted worlds risk collapsing their planet's natural environment entirely. You can literally destroy the nat planet's natural environment by having it over polluted. So, what can you do to mitigate pollution? Because of course, just adding pollution and adding waste and adding this systems, that it all by itself may make things interesting, but it may make things very, also very miserable as it's counteracting the one thing you're trying to do is build up an empire and build up your colonies. So how do you manage that? Well, there are multiple ways. There's waste reprocessing buildings. Waste recovery buildings can be built to employ waste workers who lower the waste on the planet as well as provide small amounts of recycled materials. The building can be upgraded several times. So, if you see here, I have 200 pollution. This started as high pollution. It came down to moderate pollution because I, I had built what was that, that I built. I don't see it anymore. It was a waste recycling center or something like that. And then this is the upgrade. I had unlocked it in the research. This industrial symbiosis center is an, was an upgrade to the waste management center. And so this says it reduces pollution slightly. It employs one waste manager jobs and four waste handler jobs. Which, if you come here, if you see that it says waste recycling jobs, that's the waste manager, that's why you saw the waste recycling. And then here, also the waste recycling jobs. Waste handlers reduce waste by 20 and provide one amenity. Their production is based on your waste management policy. Waste managers convert 40 waste into one alloys, two consumer goods, and two amenities. Now, I think this was only 20 waste, because it was the first. So I think it has gone go, has gone up in how much it reduces. Don't know exactly remember. But when it says the waste management policy, you have two new policies that this game has.
It's just mod ad, sorry. Uh, we go into our policies. We have environmental policies, which right now are extended regulation. We can uh, in increase our environmental policies to environmental regulators, but that would, as you see, that would reduce the the output by all the jobs by 10%. And then we could, or we could say, environmental deregulation, which be, which would increase the production of jobs from ten percent. But it also, it might also, it also slightly increase the increases pollution where it just slightly reduces pollution on all planets. Then we have the waste management policy, and this has four options. And this basically says where, what your, the waste that is removed is going to go to. We have energy recycling, which is what I have it set for now. We have that, uh, Waste handlers and waste drones. Waste is still a thing on machine walls. Instead of waste handlers, you have waste drones. And that, those produce one energy. I could have it set to they produce one minerals, or I could produce to set to produce one amenity. So it all depends on what I require at the time. Or you could say uh, waste disposal. Which increase it says waste worker pollution reduction increases by fifty percent. That's almost half. That's pretty good. I, I haven't tried it myself. So that those are some of the policies. Let me go over the rest of of what the uh, mod author says in his document. Uh, let me show you here. Do I don't have a slot open there? But I can click on these anyway. Another type of building that you can get, and this might be also, you can also potentially upgrade this. Oh, there. That was the first level of the building that I had upgraded. Waste recovery plant, and now on my home planet, it's a industrial symbiosis center. Anyway, getting back to it, we have junkyards, which is another thing this mod adds. Waste handlers reduce waste by 20 and provide one amenity. Their production is based on your waste production policy just like before. So it's kind of similar, but this only has two waste handler jobs. Uh, so I don't know what the be the other one feels to me like a better has a better benefit than just having a juncture. Uh, but, uh, let's see, the waste processing building, recovery buildings can be built to employ waste workers to lower the, uh, the buildings can be upgraded. The first building, final building requires dark matter to power. Maybe there could only be one, or because it requires, the highest level requires dark matter, maybe they think you could be using less, so they have junkyards as an addition to that, because it says these buildings can be built as much as you like on your world, further increasing the benefits of your waste workers. So the next thing that they talk about is national parks. 
you can set aside a district to act as a natural buffer against pollution. It provides rangers, dogs, and amenities, so that is listed here in Decisions. Let me do, let me do that. Right. So right now, uh, you can create an urban park. And that actually goes into the build queue. Urban park plus two park ranger jobs and increases amenities by 10%. After you get this done, you, you get the option to build a national park, which increases the ranger jobs even more. And uh, And so it provides even a, a further benefit. So another thing that he says is that the college there is a type of governor that's called the ecologist. I don't have the governor right now. Let's see who my governor is. Um, think it's in, uh, sectors. Where are sectors? Oh, it's in sectors. There we go. This is my governor. You see, he did not have. He is resilient, but he did not have the colleges. But there is a there is a treat, the college treat for the governor, and they could re reduce the job upkeep on the planet and lower your demand on production for manufacturing and research. So. They also say, he also says, there are harmful environments. You can remove blockers that may be harmful to the natural environment, such as industrial wasteland, flooding garbage heaps, or abandoned strip mines. I didn't check to see if there's any on Earth. Let's see if there's any. Yeah. So if I, uh... It doesn't... It doesn't say, though, if that will help the, um... Let me just cover everything else. So you can encounter, you can send waste to a single location for processing. The pollution levels that will create a garbage world, and the pollution levels of that world will be very high. They added civics. So if you want, wanted to, you can have a, uh, start off with an emperor that has immediate benefits to waste management. I'm not going to go into the civics, not going to leave the game to go into the civics right now, so you'll have to look into that yourself. And there are also But he does, he does list them here. The environmental civic brings waste workers into your capital buildings and keeps them cleaner. The consumer civic lets you in, 
instead satisfy this desire for even more consumption. Hive minds can be scavengers to turn waste into food. Machine numbers can be recyclers and improve the production of recycled materials. And megacorps can be scrappers and sell their wastes. Which sounds very interesting. Biological and mechanical traits for making your species produce more or less waste. So there is traits. I am not going to read the rest of this because it's just a huge amount and it will take me forever. I just want to show you one more thing in the game and then I'm going to bring this uh, my showcase to a close. So... They have also added an ascension perk. So if we go to... Traditions and Ascension Birds. Land Ethic is, I think, the one they added. Let me check to make sure that's the only one. Correct. Land Ethic. And this Ascension Perk increases. Ranger production by a hundred percent. Monetary resources never. The plate and unlocks decision. Land management. So that is all I wanted to cover. That is only a taste, a small taste of what this amazing mod has to offer and. I could be spend, I could stay here all day reading everything down on the document of all the different features it has and it'll just take me forever so I will end it here. I definitely absolutely recommend if you like Stellaris, if you like cleaning up the environment, if you like uh, working in Civ 6 to reduce your nation's impact on the world and the climate, I definitely uh, recommend you uh, checking out this mod and the mod author. I will put the uh, link to the mod on the Steam Workshop below as well. As well. And the ma the, uh, the the document that has all the ma features that I uh, I was reading off for you today. Both of those will be linked below. You can also get that uh, a link to that from the mod page. There is that as well. But anyway, I think I've said enough there is that I can say about this mod. It's a must-have mod for me. I absolutely love it. And I hope you enjoy it too as well. And with that, that's going to be all for me. I don't do much YouTube videos, I do most of my streaming on Twitch. I stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, I'm doing this recording on a Monday because it's my off day on Twitch, but I stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays at 1pm, Fridays at 4pm, Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. All are Pacific time, so you're welcome to join me there. I also have a Twitter page where I post most of my announcements, and I also have a uh, Discord where like-minded 
people who love exploring, building, and thinking of things critically can come together, talk, and maybe even have some fun together. And so with that, I hope to see you on Twitch. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. This is Open World Addict, out.